Hi guys, this is AJ Stylex and welcome to another lovely tutorial. Well, in this tutorial, we're learning how to make our six pieces blouse. We've already done a tutorial on how to draft the pattern. So if you're new here, just check the link in the description box on how to draft the pattern. Today we'll be cutting on fabric and we'll be sewing our six piece blouse. Well, if you're new again, I say welcome and can you click on the subscribe button so you get notified whenever we drop our videos we drop tutorials weekly on our channel so just subscribe well let's get to the workstation and get started so now i want to cut on fabric you can see the fabric is on fold so i'll place the center front on the folded edge and i'll cut when i'm cutting I'll, i can decide to measure half inch on the from the paper to the fabric but with my eye I can I'll be able to gauge but for those that are not sure you can use your marker or your chalk and then major major half inch around like this or so you cut from this half inch mark then for the shoulder the same thing so that the half now will join the other half for the shoulder then for the M leave whatever allowance you want to use to fold the M or if you are turning with lining then you have to cut the line exactly like this too. You just will we are cutting this on fabric, we'll cut for lining too, then you join the lining with it. But for this I'm not the fabric is thick, so I won't be using lining. So I'll be folding the edge and I'm adding one and half for folding. So this one and half, let me just mark this one out. So I'm cutting this out. Notching help you when you're placing it together. You to place the notch parts together so you can align with then this curve part you notch. This is this curve part is where this bust notch will go into. So, so this is it. This is that the notch parts of the waist. So by the time I'm pinning, I'll just place it like this. Pin this much back together before I pin the sides together. Mm. So join it by half the half inch we add it. So by the time I do it, you see. Then there is a mistake I made when I was cutting it. I forgot to add zipper allowance at the back or at the front, depending on where you want zip to be. If I know where it can zip. So at the back, please, when you're making your pattern, cut add zip allowance. So how do you add your zip allowance? Let's assume. This is a plain. This is a plain material. Now, I want to. This is the pattern I want to cut on this material. Just sorry. This is the pattern I want to cut on this material. Wherever is the center front, just leave one inch before placing the pattern. I'm trying to look for something that is straight. Now. Okay, this is straight. Let's use this back pattern as an illustration. Now, let's assume this is the main fabric. This is the pattern I want to transfer it. So just place it. I don't start like this at the edge leave one inch before doing all your cutting so this one inch you cut into the center and this will serve as zip allowance but i did add zip allowance but and i will find a way to fix it on fix it when i'm sewing on my fabric I 
is the front piece now. I've joined it. This is what it looks like. So this is the boss. So by the time I use my pressing iron to iron it, you will see that to come out fine. So when I said you can put an interface in, yes, you can put an interface. If I, if I put an interface in, you'll be stiff. And then to be like normal breast to blouse. So you can iron an interface in here. Then cover it with your iron and interface, you will pad it, then turn it with your lining. But I'm not adding interface, neither am I adding lining for the material I stick. So, what I just do is this is the back now, so I just add the back. So, look at what I did now when as I forgot to add the zip allowance. So, this is just a um, sewing arc you can do in case of any mistakes. They don't plan this kind of mistake, but just one of our sewing acts. Now, since I forgot to add the zipper allowance, I still open the back, then I cut a straight piece and then attached it. So, this piece now will not serve as the allowance for the zip. By the time I add it to the zip, then I'll place it into the zip and sew to still come back to normal. So, this is the allowance now that I'm supposed to add. I didn't add it to still fold in and serve the same. Purpose. But before you do it, make sure you iron it and then but this is the back joint. You can see that the back now is not it's not um, bulging out because there is no bust at the back. So that I just so I'll just join the shoulders together. So this is the front. So I'll place the right side facing each other. This is one of the parts of the back shoulder. I'll join it. This is the second back. I'll join the two shoulders together. This is the zipper allowance. When I join the two shoulders, then I'll join the sides of the back. And that's all. So don't you see how bit it is? So this is it. Though I'm not done with it, I'll add my sleeve later, then turn the neckline, and then finish the end. So if you, if you see, like, adding interfacing, like I said, that I've been standing like this, like a purple long blouse. So this is uh, simply, uh, simply our six-piece blouse. So if you like this video, please click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more content. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.